Second Peter chapter 3 verse 10 to 12. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away. Everybody shout, the heavens will pass away. The heavens shall pass away. With a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everybody say, the elements will melt. The elements will melt. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be born up. Everybody shout, the earth and the works will be born up. The earth and the works will be born up. So this earth and all the works in this earth, buildings, everything, yeah. will be turned into ashes. Yeah. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Verse 12, looking for and hasting into the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved. And the elements shall melt with burden heat. I will bring to you a very uh, short subject this afternoon entitled The Temporary Trinkets of Our Time. The Temporary Trinkets of Our Time. Hallelujah. Trinket means uh, mga burlonoy mga kapatid that have no values. Or decorations that have no value at all. Or, th th there is a meaning, praise God, that I can give you from Cambridge's uh, dictionary. It says here that the word trinkets is a small jewel, praise God, that has a little value. Okay? So let us study and just open our heart to the Lord as we bow down our head. Our guests and visitors, thank you for coming and may the Lord will bless you. Praise God. Lord Jesus, we have read your word and I pray, O oh God, that you will anoint us all, our ears, our eyes to perceive, our ears to hear, and our heart, O oh God, to understand. Hallelujah. Give me strength, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. To preach and to pass this message. I pray for our guests and visitors that their lives will be changed. And New Life Fellowship Saints, O oh God, will grow in knowledge and wisdom. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we lift you high. Hallelujah. And I rebuke every evil spirit that will try to hinder your purpose. I take authority over them right now in the name of Jesus. I blinded them. Hallelujah. I destroyed their plan in the name of Jesus. And I lose the power of the Holy Ghost. When your Holy Spirit will minister to every heart. Hallelujah. Let there be healing in our midst of us. In the name of Jesus. Everybody shall praise the Lord. Hallelujah. May I call on Sister Armila Lagi. She served by appointment to the position as a discipleship teacher. Praise God on this 21st day of November. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless Sister Lagi. May the Lord have done. The anointing of the Lord will be a body. Praise God. It is foolishness to invest all here on earth. Yes. It is a folly to invest all here on earth. Because Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, Hallelujah, that everything tied to time is temporary. Amen. Everything that is tied to time is temporary. Yes. Amen. Sometimes, uh, praise God, when we have conversations, business, interviews, or whatever, or exam, praise God, the teacher will just give you, will say, okay, take your time to make you relax and uh, you will not feel anxiety. Praise God, hallelujah. You can go back, praise God, to a uh, proper way of thinking and uh, recollecting the memories that you have studied. Study, praise God, the things that you memorize. Say, okay, take your time. But this afternoon, I'm going to tell you, church, hallelujah. Heaven does have not a message, praise God, that says, okay, take your time. 
Just enjoy the world. Take your time. The coming of the Lord is there so far. The word of the Lord does not suggest. But instead, we must praise God, get ready. We must prepare. Praise God. Hallelujah. We must be praise God ready at all times. Everybody shall be amen. Hallelujah. So everything that is tied to time is temporary. The Bible said, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things where which are not seen. How to look things that cannot be seen? It is difficult without faith. Because the eye of faith, praise God, is to be used. Praise God, to look the things that cannot be seen. When your employer will ask you to look something in her room or private room, praise God. Hallelujah. Without using your eyes, It's impossible. <laughs> Things that can be seen, praise God, we use our eyes. But Paul said, the spirit of things or things that are in heaven, we are going to use the eye of faith. Yes. For the things which are seen are temporal. Your mobile phone, your husband can be seen, it's temporal. <laughs> My wife, it's temporal. My friends, the piano, things that can be seen are temporal. But things that are not seen are eternal. That we want eternal life, right? Every one of us wants eternal life. But the problem is, Things that are eternal cannot be seen. Yes. Now, how can we see? Praise the eternal things if those things cannot be seen by our naked eye. That is why we come here by faith. Yes. It is only by the eye of faith. Yes. Hallelujah. Our Lord gave wise advice for investing. Because it's foolishness if, because we are Christians, we believe the Bible and that is the truth that there are things that cannot be seen. Inside your burning house, praise God, if some things move and then you cannot see people there, then you will start to get scared. Your hair in your skin will start to rise. Why the bottle is moving? There is no one here in my room. I feel that there is some someone touches my feet, but I cannot see anybody. Oh, I hear something, but I cannot see anybody. Then you will start to think, what is this place? We always praise God, preach in this place. Oh, we believe God. God is here, but we cannot see Him. Then how did you know that he is here? Because of the moving of his presence. Yeah. The movement. God moves in our midst. God moves in your life. You can just clearly say, Oh, God is in my life. Did you see it? No, but, but the moving of his spirit. Yeah. Amen. Before you can you can compare your life. Before when you were not uh, yet saved, praise God, your life is messy. Your attitude is very naughty. Praise God. Relationship here, relationship there, relationship everywhere. Right. Oh, my, my head name is God. Every time you smile, praise God, it gives healing to me. Everybody shall amen. amen. But if somebody will sleep, praise God, it makes me more sick. Everybody shall praise the, praise the Lord. So remember this. Things that cannot be seen.
seen are eternal. Yes. But things that can be seen are temporal. So all things that can be seen that are tied up to time, it's temporal. Yes. So don't love the things in this world. Yes. Because they will just pass away. Yes. But the things of God, those are eternal. That is why Jesus gave a wise advice for investing. If you invest, praise God, things in this world, he said, in Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 20, here we go, the Bible said, Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where moon and rust do corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Yes, praise God, kapag mag-ibun ka ng pera at mga bagay dito sa mundo, na nakawin lang ng mga aki at bahay ka. But if you lay up treasures in heaven, verse 20, Atika, Hallelujah, if you lay up treasures in heaven, when neither moot nor rust nor corrupt, and when things do not break through, nor steal. Walang magnanakaw na, pwedeng magnakaw doon sa langit, bakit? Ano sa Kenya papunta doon? Now think about it. Jesus' advice for investing is very good, Sister Daisy. So if you invest all your time, money, position, and effort here on earth, lugi ka. And Jesus said, lay up treasures in heaven. Coming to the church, giving for missions, praying for others, forgiving someone, praise God, helping one another. These are the treasures that we can lay up in heaven. Everybody shall hear Your mobile phone, even how latest model of that, praise God, one year or two years from now, a lot of scratch already. And you are going to desire another model. Everybody shall hear Amen. But if you choose to live a holy life with the presence of God, with the word of God, it's all brand, brand new every day. Yeah. Your life is all brand new. Yeah. If ever, Sister Pagloda, in this walk of life, your life will be scratched by trials and problems. It's just like just a one white praise out of the hands and the presence of God. Yeah. And your troubles, hallelujah, will be gone. I'm not saying that there's no trouble in serving God. There are trials and problems, but by the touch of His Almighty, praise God, presence, your life will be renewed. Everybody say amen. Yeah. Now, Peter invested Jesus' life. Peter invested in Jesus' life. He heard the call of Jesus to follow Him, and Peter obeyed. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 19 to 20, and he said unto them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Yes. Verse 20, the Bible said, And they straightly lift their nets and follow him. Amen. What a good investment. What a good choice. When Jesus told the fishermen, Praise God, Hallelujah, in the Sea of Galilee, Peter and the rest of the disciples, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Because the fish that you catch, praise God, hallelujah. Tulingan, dangkit, bangus. Praise God. Ano? Tamaro? Pampano? Malasugi? Praise God. There are lots of fishes in the sea. Hello. Amen. There are lots of fishes here in Hong Kong that I did not see them in the Philippines. Amen. Maybe those are Chinese fish. <laughs> Everybody say amen. amen. There are lots of fishes. And if you are a wise fisherman, you must use a lot of types of net to catch this kind of fishes. Amen. Everybody say amen. amen. If you are going to catch Praise God like the small fish. What is that? Uh, Delis. And then the eye of your net is just like this. You will just swim through. 
That is why you have a small neck. Praise God. Whose eye, praise God, hallelujah, those small fishes can be cut. But those small nets cannot catch also like big tuna. The tuna will just pass through the net and it will walk walk eyes, praise God. <laughs> <laughs> the net will be destroyed. Everybody shall amen. amen. That is why in catching people, there are people in the church that are delish. <laughs> but there are people in the church that are tuna. There are people that are sharks. You mga dilis, mga humble yan sila. Mga sa gilid, grupo-grupo, mga dilis yan sila. You mga shark, nangangawa yan, nangangain yan. But we need to catch every kind of fish. When Jesus told Peter, I will meet you. Fishers of men. In the church, we have professionals. In the church, we have doctors. In the church, we have drivers. In the church, we have eaters. In the church, we have students, teachers, all the strata, praise God, of human in our society. OFWs, some are professionals, some are only high school, some did not come through high school, but yet, they have a good salary. Yes. Yes. Everybody shall amen. Yes. Now, Jesus is telling Peter, Peter, I want you to invest your life, your time, into the kingdom of God. I want to make you fishers of men. And the Bible said in verse 20, when Jesus invited them, they straightway left their nets. We have a lot of nets in the world before. Yung iba na lang nila pala nila ngayon ng net nila. When you follow Jesus, let your net and just follow him strictly. Yeah. He did you Christian on Sunday. Pero Lord is hanggang sa bado. Hanggang sa labas, papalit, pasaway. Everybody shall amen. amen. Remember that our time is so short. That's right. Everybody shall amen. amen. So Peter heard the call of Jesus. And Peter followed immediately. Now, in the text that we have read a while ago, Peter had proven at the end of his life, he had no regrets. Because he had proven the promises of Christ were true. He longs for others to do the same. That's the reason why he wrote 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10 to 12. Because he proved it by himself that following Jesus was the right choice. Yeah. Investing his time to follow Jesus was the right choice. Oh, yeah. He proved it, praise God, in the latter end of his life. That is why he wrote this letter to encourage others to do so. I preach this message this afternoon to encourage each and every one of us invest your life in the things that are eternal. Did you hear me? Other people in the world they live in lust, they love, they live, praise God, in worldly things. They talk when they are 16, 18 to 20, 30, praise God, to have relationship there, relationship here, relationship everywhere. Praise God, is a happy life. And it ended, they were all, praise God, just a broken family, sorrow, tears, pain, regrets. Amen. Everybody shall amen. amen. But while you are still young, Praise God, Sister Marisa celebrated his 61st birthday. Yay! When she was 50, praise God, when we celebrate her 50th birthday, praise God, we asked her, do you have still desire to get married? No. 
But when we celebrate Saturday, yesterday, praise God, 61, praise God, he said, uh, the Lord will grant the desire of my heart. So there was a quite change. There's changes. And it is understandable. Sister Liti Bisana also celebrated her 60th birthday. And the Bible said that if you are going to trust God, He will grant the desires of your heart. Amen. So what God will grant? The desires of your heart. So I asked him, do you have the desires? He said, no. <laughs> so if you have no desire, God cannot grant. Because what God will grant is the desire of your heart. Amen. So if you decide to be used to preach, decide it in your heart and God will grant it. Yes. If you decide to study Bible school, one day God will grant it. Yes. If you have decided in your heart to graduate discipleship classes, one day God will grant it. Yes. If you decide in your heart not Christ up to marry a Christian, a, a loving husband, God will grant it. Yes. But Sister Adeline, if you have no desire, God will not grant it. Everybody say, praise the Lord. Now Peter made a clear call for wise investing. There is now a call. Now I will ask you, who among you here invested in Manulite? Have Manulite products? You sign up for Manulite products? No one? Like life insurance? One, two, three, four. Praise God. How about the others? Uh, life insurance, health insurance, retiree, or praise God, educational, praise God. Those are nice investments, but the best investment is what Peter is calling here. Peter made a call, a clear call, for all the believers for wise investing. Yes, amen. Do you know why? According to his verse in verse 10, praise God, in 1 Peter, uh, 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 10 But the day of the Lord will come As a thief in the night In the which the heaven shall pass away Now this is a scary scene Nakakatakot yan na versikulo sa totoo Just imagine The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night So what happened pastor? In the which the heavens Plural heavens Because there are three layers of heavens the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with permanent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned. So if you invest things here on earth, the Bible said it will be born. Even you give all of your life, praise God, hallelujah, it's nonsense. Why? Praise God, we will live this life. So if I will invest my life, no, do you know my desire when I was in college? Praise God, I want to be a mariner. Praise God, marino. I want to be a captain of a ship. Praise God. But because of our poverty, yung kawalan pa sa buhay ng aking parents. Praise God. I want to really finish my, my higher education. But they could not afford to send me. Someone helped me to acquire a scholarship. I don't know if you hear this. PISPA, Private Educational System Financial Assistance. That's a program. Praise God during the time of... Uh, forgot what's the host of president during the time. Praise God. Alam ko hindi yung BBI mga kamagin. Everybody sorry, amen. Hindi niya pa umumpan niya mga kamagin. Praise God. So, to make the long story short, that was the desire of my heart. But even if you have a strong desire, if God has a higher plan, it will not still happen to you. The plan of God, ang yung masusunod pa rin ba? And then, I got a scholarship 
to become a radio operator. Radio operator. Because my plan, if my mother cannot send me to a school that produces like mariners, at least I can be a radio operator in a big ship. Yes. <laughs> and I got the first class license. I'm so excited. But the problem is my mother. My mother is so scared. Praise God. What if the boat will capsize in the ocean? Kung saan na nilupa malulod ng barko? Paano na daw? Kung tatakog yung barko, mga kapatid. So, I was, you know, always listen to my mother. So, I went to Bukwan City. And there, I find a job in the station. I'm a radio operator, not a radio by telephone, but an operator in an FM station. Yes, that's my job. 97.5 with one star pockets. In the station. Praise God. This time check is brought to you by Milo. <laughs> Milo. I'm already a Christian. And the problem is, there are some time check, praise God, that is sponsored like Tanuai. <laughs> and Ihuram. I'm a Christian already. That is why I always cry at the technical room. Lord, please, give me another job. I speak in tongues in the technical room and when I go back there, my manager told me, Sano, that's my name in the station. Sano. Yeah. Can you mix a disco this Saturday? So I'm going to operate a disco. You know how to operate a disco? Two of this. <laughs> You are a DJ in a disco, a sound mix for two hours. And I'm a Christian filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm going to. <laughs> My spirit was screaming. Yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And then one day, the pastor said, Neil, I sponsor you to study Bible school in the Bible. Yeah. I said, Thank you, Lord. Here. I thank my God and I thank those people who helped me, who prayed for me because I chose the right investment. Amen. Everybody shouting. Amen. So now, as OFWs, foreign domestic helpers here, praise God, don't belittle your job. Wag nyo magmalitin mga kapatid ang trabaho nyo. Dahil kayo po ang makabagong hero. Kaya, taas mo, kahit kanino. Ako ay OFW. Kala nyo mga teachers ng mga kapatid? Buti na lang, hindi ko kayo pinagano'n mga kapatid. Here's your right hand. Number one, let us study this. Peter made a clear call for wise investing. Do you know why? Because the deception of positions leads us astray. Amen. The deception of positions leads us astray. Ang kinang-kinang ng pera at mga bagay, praise God, is manluloko mga The treasures of this world are very deceptive. What is the right Tagalog for deception? Mapang linglang. Some employer will, praise God, some employer will tell you, okay, can I hire you? I give you 8,000 Hong Kong dollars. But I'm alone here. We are the only two in the house. Now if you look at the money, it's good. But if you look at your safety and honor, it's not good. The deception of position leads us astray. Yes. The love of earthly positions has deceived many. Yes. Ilan na ba ang luha, mga kapatid? 
Ilan na ba ang mata ang lumuha? Ilan na ba ang puso umiyak? Dahil dalin lang sa posisyon. A woman went to Dubai to work as domestic helper. She has one son and one husband. In the process of time, she had a friend, a wisdom. And to make the long story short, she get into the trap. And she give in. And she deny her marriage vow. The family was broken. The child get angry to her. Because she was deceived by her own desires in her heart. Remember this. Even if you put gold in your fingers, you put gold here, and you put gold here. <laughs> Things that can be seen will pass. Yes. Yes. The deception of positions sent Lot to Sodom. Have you remembered Lot? Yes. The nephew of Abraham? Yes. Abraham's nephew. In Genesis chapter 13, the Lord in verse 6 had blessed their families. Because if we serve God, God the Lord will bless you. Yes. And it happens in the story in Genesis chapter 13. Here we go in the screen. And the land was not able to bear them that they might dwell together. For their substance was great so that they could not dwell together. I have a picture with that when you are in a boarding house. Two of you, praise God, just rent a small boarding house. And you are fighting each other because the space becomes smaller and smaller just because of your stop and strike bugs. <laughs> the first time you come in Hong Kong, it's only one truly. But now that you have five contracts, it seems that all of the room belongs to you <laughs> because of your stuff yes. and things. The Lord has blessed you. Yes. But sometimes blessing can cause trouble. Yes. Yes. Abraham was blessed. Lot was blessed. And the Bible said the land is not enough to bear them. Just imagine, the land is so big. Yes. But because the Lord has blessed their cattle, their flocks, the land is not enough. What happened? They were fighting in verse 7. Yes. Their katulong are fighting. Yes. Abraham and Lot did not fight, but their katulongs are fighting every day. <laughs> Usually, ang away sa loob ng bahay ng employee, hindi naman ang amo at ang ma'am, ang sir at ma'am, yung mga katulong. <laughs> and there was a strike between the hurt men of Abraham's cattle and the hurt men of Lot's cattle and the Canaanite, the Pirasite, dwelt then in the land. Next verse. This is what the Bible said. And Abraham said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, between my hurt men and your hurt men, for we be brethren. Dapat hindi tayo mag-away. Bakit magkapatid lang tayo? New Life Saints, dapat hindi kayo magbagaya. You like saints, dapat hindi tayo mag-away-away. Yeah. You like saints, dapat hindi tayo magsigawan. Yeah. Why? We are just brethren. Yeah. 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 We are brethren. Yeah. Sister Malu is my eldest sister. Brother June is my eldest brother. Look at the hair. It's more white than me, praise God. Whoever is the youngest here, whoever is the oldest, we are just in one family. Yes. But sometimes blessings will cause trouble. Yes. Especially when the spirit of jealousy will come in. Huwag yes. kang magsisilos mga kapatid kung siya matas ang sahot. Kasama kayo sa agency. Kasama kayo sa agency pagpunta rin sa Hong Kong. 
Sa iyo ba nang hihira mga kapatid ng pamasahe? Pero ngayon pinagpala ng Panginoon na pinagpala, ikaw hindi nag-increase yung salary. Huwag mo hindi. Pastor, kakalimot naman siya, Pastor. Hindi naman niya ako naalala. Ay, ako magpala na. <laughs> Kung mahiya kang magpala na, eh, preach natin. <laughs> yung mga tumulong sa inyo, huwag yung kalimutan. <laughs> Hindi na kami ibig sabihin na nanininingil sila. Kundi, ano lang ba? As magkapatid, Alalahanin natin si David. Kung meron ka rin ekstra, mga kapatid, titig ka ka, mga kapatid si David. Ano yung titig? Kasi mga kumari, mga Pilipino tayo, nandito, ta, nandito tayo sa malayong bansa. Malayo ang Hong Kong. Kung magparko ka isang week, mga kapatid. Ang ating oras po ay alas tres. Media ba? Verse 9. Verse 10. So, Abraham, sister, praise God, is telling Lot, Lot, tell your OFWs not to fight my worker also. We are just brothers and sisters. And Abraham told Lot, Okay. In order for us to settle this problem, we will just separate. So one second, I'm going to burn the house. Kini ni taon na lang ako. And Lot lifted his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan that this was well watered everywhere before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord. Just imagine the description of the Bible: Sodom and Gomorrah is a very beautiful place. Before it was burned, it is like the Garden of Eden. That's a bonus for your Bible survey, praise God. As the Garden of the Lord. But the place is so nice, and people did not invest their lives to the one who created it. Like the land of Egypt, the Kamis and the Sword. Verse 11. Then Lot chose him of the plain of Jordan, and Lot Lot journeyed east, and they separated themselves the one from the other. When Lot looked at the plains of Jordan like the Garden of Eden, he told Abraham, "Uncle, I go there." And Abraham said, "Okay, go." Twelve. Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain. Taga Mario si Abraham, taga siyudad si Lord. And pitch his tent toward Sodom. Verse 13. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. 14. That's the Bible said. And the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lord was separated from him, lift up now thine eyes and look from the place. When was God talked to Abraham? When they separated already. When Lot separated Abraham, God appeared to Abraham. Because the troublemaker has already gone. If you're a troublemaker, God will not appear to you. Everybody shall be there. Here we go. And the Lord said unto Abraham, after that Lot was separated from him, lift up now thine eyes, and look from the place where thou art northward, southward, Eastward, westward. Now I will ask you, where did Lot go? To the east. Only one direction. Based on what he saw. I went to the east. The, the place is properly watered. Like the Garden of Eden. But Lot, hallelujah, did not calculate the consequences because the people there are very wicked before God. Everybody shall be there. And when Abraham was in that barrio, he God told him, Abraham, it's for it's your time. Take your time. You can look 360 degrees. Look northward, southward, eastward, even the Garden of Eden, even Solomon, the place where Lot was chosen. And westward, next verse, I think, in verse 15, the last verse. 
For all the land which thou sayest, to thee will I give it unto thy seed forever. So what the Bible is telling us is real. Yes. Archaeology proves what the Bible teaches. Ay makikita talaga doon. Number two, the deception of position caused the rich young ruler his son. Luke chapter 18, verse 18 to 25. I repeat it again. The deception of position cost the rich young ruler, hallelujah, his own soul. And a certain ruler asked him, saying, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Now, this is a very good question. Yes. I want you to understand this. We want eternal life. Yes. For sure. Yes. Who wants eternal life? Yes. You mean that the you know? O pagod lang kayo. The rich young ruler was asking, Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Everybody shall inherit. Inherit. With the word inherit, it thinks about like the picture of an inheritance that you have a relationship to that a person. It could be a father or mother so that you can inherit. When they die, you can inherit the property. What, what the guy is asking, Lord, how can I inherit? He, he, he didn't say, how can I have? But he said, how can I inherit? So if you are going to inherit it in the life, make it sure that you have a relationship to the owner, to the father. Because if you have no relationship to the father, how can you inherit? Do you have a relationship to our Father? Yes. If you have a relationship to our Father, sure, Bob, you, have in, you can inherit yes. eternal life. Yes. But if you have no relationship to God, even if you claim to the whole world that you have eternal life, at the end of the day, your name is not there. Yes. In the book of life, everybody shall read Amen. Verse 19. This is until 25. Let's read first. And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? None is good, save one that is God. Even Jesus himself, he did not uh, receive that compliment. Why you, why you call me good? There is none who is good, and that is God only. So it's right to say, God is good? All and all the time? God is good. That's biblical. It's not just a calisthenic in the church to wake you up. That's a declaration that God is good. And all the time, 20. Thou knowest the commandments? Jesus asking the young guy. Do you, do you know the commandments? Do not commit adultery. Jesus was asking this young, uh, ilan ang girlfriend mo? Isa lang. Sabi ni Jesus, check. Uh, did you kill? No, check. Did you steal? No, check. Did you make force witness against your neighbor? No, check. Did you honor your father? No. The guy said, yeah, I honor Especially their birthday, check. <laughs> Did you honor your mother? And the guy was thinking, yeah, I always honor my mother during Mother's Day. Jesus said, check. <laughs> 21. And he said, 
all this have I kept from my youth up. When I was a youth, when I was a young people came, praise God. Hello, Ken. <laughs> the rich young ruler said, I keep all this from my youth. So he's really a good boy. And aside from that, he was a very rich young man. 22. Now when Jesus heard these things, he said unto him, Yet, lackest thou one thing. Isa na lang talaga ang kulang mo. Pasok ka na sa langit. Sell all that thou hast. Distribute unto the poor. Thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Come, follow me. Did you remember the question? How can I inherit eternal life? Yes. Sell all your positions. Yes. Give it to the poor. Yes. And you will have treasure in heaven. Yes. And then Jesus said, Come, follow me. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you think going to heaven, do you think to inherit eternal life is easy thing? No. You need to carry your own cross. Yes. You need to follow Jesus. Yes. You need to surrender yourself. You need to be generous. Wala na mga kalipot na mga pasok sa langit. Parang nasyak si sister. Say it again. Wala ang Distribute it to the poor. Yes. Just like the same when Peter, when Jesus invited Peter, Peter, I will make you fishers of men. And the Bible said, immediately, straightway, they left their nets. Yes. Same principle here. Jesus told the rich young ruler, if you want to follow me, if you want to inherit it in the life, sell all that thou hast, give it to the poor, so that you will not think anymore about your positions. Come, follow me. Because if he still have a position, there is a possibility that he will go back to the old profession. Because he has some things. Kaya kung meron ka pang bisyo, please iwanan mo na yan. Para wala ka nung balik ka. Kung meron ka pang mga ex, tuluyan mo na ni ex, wala na kong bilikasyon. si Brother Marvin, mga kapatid. Okay. That is the deception of position. The deception of positions cost the rich young ruler his own soul. Do you know what happened? Let's continue to read in verse 23. Hallelujah. And when he heard this, he was sorrowful, for he was very rich. He was not happy when he heard Jesus. He was sorrowful. Why? He was very rich. Salamat na lang walang milyonarya dito. Sino gusto na narap naging milyonarya? Yes! Ba't hindi kasalanan maging milyonarya? Yes! Praise God. Pero kung maging milyonaryo ka na, mga kapatid, tapos wala nang makaupo sa, malapit sa'yo dahil piling mo sa kanila, mga unclean, praise God. Huwag ka nalang mag-milyonaryo ang mga kapatid. Verse 24. Look at verse 24. And when Jesus saw that he was sorrowful, he said, this is what Jesus' statement. Can you read it? How hardly shall it be that have riches in the kingdom. Those people who have riches, whose heart is in that riches, it's difficult for them yes. to go to heaven. It's difficult for them to inherit eternal life. Yes. Why? Their heart is in their riches. Yes. Yes. Verse 25, the last verse. For it is easier for a camel. 
to go through the needle's eye than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. Have you seen the comment? Did you see the needle's eye? Jesus said, it's easy for a camel to enter into the needle's eye than a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. But to be rich is not sin if your heart is in Jesus. Oh, yes! To be blessed, Abraham was very rich. Solomon was very rich. David was very rich. So many rich people. Praise God. But remember this. Treasure is not the determining factor of your relationship. Oh, yes! Hindi ibig sabihin, marami kang pera, malapit ka sa langit, no? At hindi rin ibig sabihin na pag walang pera, malapit kay Lord. Yes! Wala talaga akong pera, pasto, nakakaawang buhay ko. Malapit talaga ako kay Lord, no? The deception of positions sent the rich fall to hell. Ito mga kapatid, nakatakot ito. Impirno na talaga. Oh, sa Luke 12, 16 to 21. And he speak a parable unto them. This is a parable. The other one was a story. The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. Yung business, umangat. Yung negosyo, grabe. Kumita. Yung restaurant namin, gusto meron. Nagbibinta ng phone cards, dami bumibili, walang nagutang. Marami ang kita. And he's speaking parable, verse 17 na nika. And he talked within himself saying, what shall I do? Because I have no room wherein where to bestow my fruits. Lots of harvest. And he was, he got a big problem. What shall I do? I have no more room enough to do it. Put the stock. Verse 18. And he said, ha, ah, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there I will bestow all my fruits and my goods. Yung lumang butika, sirain ko, magpatayo ako ng malakis him na butika. Verse 19. Your plan on yan. And I will say to my soul, man has a soul. This is a parable. Jesus is the one who said this. Don't believe other teachings that we are just monkeys and have no soul. We did not come from monkey. Yes. Look at your neighbor right now. Ongoy ba yan? Ang kanda-kanda yan, mga kapatid. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods. Live up for many years. Take thy ease. Relax ka lang, soul. Eat, kumain ka, drink, and be merry. Verse 20. But God said unto him, Thou fool! So if you invest your life in eating, drinking, and going to party everywhere, you are a fool. Yes. During your day off, you just go to the beach and barbecue, salva, there, balibong, there, braha, there, tomlitz, there. You did not invest your time wisely. Yeah. November 21 will not come back anymore. Yeah. November 21, 2021. Alas 3, 45 ng hapon, it will not come back anymore. Yeah. So you must better invest your time wisely. required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? Sino susunod sa mga dami mong pagkain sa budika? Ngayong gabi ko kunin na kita. Grabe! Inaway mo ang iyong kapatid. Magkuha na kang titulo sa lupa. Sabi na pa yun. Awayin mo ang kapatid. Kapatid, magkusap-usap lang kayo. Sino man makapag-susunod ano, sa lupa na yan? 
talagang telor na telor ka sa'yo mga kapatid? Inaway mo pa si papa, si mama? Kung sino ang mga in-laws mga kapatid? Dahil lang sa door to door? Invest your time wisely! Ilan may pastor? Pito. Praise God. Ang short ko nagiging long. Okay lang sa inyo? Peter urges us. Peter urges us to look ahead to the coming of the Lord. Peter tells his viewers or his listeners, I encourage you to look ahead at the coming of the Lord. Because if you will not think about the coming of the Lord, of course, you will not invest time in the spirit world. Yes. You're outside. Praise God. Looking upward reveals the temporary nature of things below. Peter said, look up the things upward. So what do you mean by that? Looking upward reveals the temporary nature of the things below. What will your position be worth when Christ returns? I will ask you. Who among us here are bank books? Bank books. You give a hand to me, Senor. Book up. Eh, tano ko lang. Klaro hindi ko. Lahat mo ba may bank book? Yes. Oh, hindi din. Kaya ko lang bank book lang. Let me go. Okay. Dahil sa kakuriputan mo, umabot na yan ng half million. Pero kung babalik na yung ang Panginoon ngayong gabi, ito po ang tanong. Ito po ang tanong. What will your positions be worth when Christ returns? Pinagmalaki mo ang 40 hektarya na lumay. Pinagmalaki mo mga kapatid ang 30 hektarya ng palaya na kaya niyugan. Ngayon, kung babalik ang Panginoon ngayong gabi. Oh. Sister Selby, I'm very sorry. I just realized that you are here. Our magdagasi sisters cannot understand the gano. Praise God. Yeah, because they did not understand me. That's why they smile. Nobody tells me, okay? Okay. This is a big question. What will your positions be worth when Christ returns? Just answer it in your heart. Because I know it's nothing. Wise one invests in things above that stand the test of time. Number two, Atika, the dissolving of positions will occur. The dissolving of positions will occur. What do you mean by dissolving? All the positions and things in the Malaysia in the world will be melted by fire. Yes. Verse ten to eleven. This is what the Bible said. Praise God. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with perfect heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Verse eleven. Here we go. Seeing then. That all these things shall be dissolved. Everybody shall. All these things shall be dissolved. All these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be? So these things will be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be? Ano classic pagkatawan dapat po natin ipamuhay? What kind of person? What kind of life? Praise God that we should live if all these things will be melted by fire. Yes. Some people are so too proud. Mahangin. Too proud of themselves. More stronger than Yolanda. Praise God. Now, consider this frightening sin. Just consider this frightening sin. The heavens shall pass away with great noise. Sister Melo, while you're standing at the Mar Park, the heavens will disappear with a great noise. The elements will melt with fervent heat. If you 
You have study science, praise God. The elements, whether it is solid, liquid, or air, or gas, it will be melted. The earth and its works will be burned up. Now, this is a frightening sin. Yes. And it is written in the Bible. Yes. The dissolution requires a decision. How shall we then live? This is the question. How shall we then live if all things are to be dissolved? Now, Peter calls us to consider all in the light of his prophecy. This is a prophetic utterance. It did not happen yet. Hindi pa ito nangyari. Kasi kung nangyari na yan, matagal na tayo natunaw, matagal na natunaw, mga pwede na gano'n lang. It did not happen yet. It's in prophecy. Now, Peter is calling us to consider this prophetic utterance. What manner of persons ought ye to be? Now, it's your decision. If you want, if you become to be prayerful, that's your decision. If you want to become pamanjing banjing, that's your decision. If you don't want to come to the church, it's your decision. We pastors will never force you. We need back if there is curfew right now. You can go out, but don't bring somebody praise God. I can understand you. What manner of persons ought you to be? It is a call to holy living. To be like Jesus. Yeah. How has the prospect of what's ahead affected your life? How the prophecy will affect your life? Sister Carmen, how, how, how the prophecy will affect your life when it comes to the future? Number three. The dividing of positions earn judgment. Yes. The dividing of positions earns judgment. Look at verse 12. The Bible said, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Verse 13, that the God is not there, but showing the screen. Verse 13, praise God, hallelujah. Okay? Everything will be dissolved. Not Genesis, but uh, Second Peter chapter 3. Praise God. It's not there in the line. Praise God. Okay. Second Peter. Nevertheless, that's the best word for us. Nevertheless, we, everybody shall we. We. Kasama ka dyan. Kasama ako. We, according to His promise, look for new heavens and new earth will indwell it righteousness. But the question is, how can we go there? Praise God. Hallelujah. What shall we do with our positions in life to Christ's return? We have positions. You have salary. You have savings. You, you, you have inheritance from your parents. What shall we do? If you have lots of land in the Philippines, maybe you can donate for a church land. If you have lots of harvest of rice, maybe you can give to the poor who have no, have no rice. Why? Time is coming. And while you are doing that, you are laying up treasures in heaven. Yeah. Doing good things to somebody. Yeah. Helping somebody. So what shall we do, Pastor Pastor? Praise God. According to Daniel Moody, money held no charm for me. According to John Wesley, I fling money out of my hands lest it find its way to my heart. George Boylan said, God judges what we give by what we keep. So the point here is this. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, it's time for us to walk by faith. Kung ibigay dito, Pastor, para sa akin, wala na. Yung apo ko pa. But it's time for us to walk by faith. And not by sin. Hallelujah. I preached last Friday about two wonderful words. In the Bible, there are only two wonderful words. That word is eternal life. Eternal life is in Jesus. But the day, praise God, why we need eternal life? The answer was because our life is so short. How do 
do we get eternal life? It's in Christ Jesus. When do we get eternal life? Today is the day of salvation. Second Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2. Hallelujah. This is the day of salvation. Today is the accepted time. Today is the day in which when you want to be saved, God will help you. In the day of salvation, He will help you. I read in the screen. For He saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted. And in the day of salvation, I have succored thee. The word succored here is, I have helped thee. Tinutulungan kita. Behold, now is the accepted time. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Let's start, let's start to invest our time in God. If you did not start a personal serious prayer, start to invest that. If you did not start praying, hallelujah, to read your Bible, start to read your Bible now. Because what you invest in the kingdom of God, you will harvest it on the other side of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody say amen. Yeah. I want to be forgiven, Pastor, by God. Forgive also others so that God will forgive you. Oh, yeah. I want God to bless me or bless others so that God will bless you. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody say amen. Yeah. The trinkets of our time. Hallelujah. Our time is limited here. Yes. I'm fortified. If God will allow, according to Psalms 90, that God will leave, give man like 70, and with his strength, he will allow 80. How many years I have left? Don't cry for me, Sister P. <laughs> <laughs> but I will invest my time in God. I will invest my time for my children to teach them about God. Yeah. I will invest my time to teach in Bible school. I will invest my time to teach in discipleship. Yeah. Yeah. I, I teach discipleship in weekdays. Jesus. Praise God. Yeah. I will invest my time in the kingdom of God. Yeah. Yeah. Same as yours, I challenge you. Invest your time in the kingdom of God. Shall we stand together? Put down your Bibles. Put down the things, hallelujah, in your hands. And can we lift our hands, hallelujah, praise God. <laughs> Blessed be the name of God. Maluki ka lang kung ang puso mo ay magkaroon ng galit. Maluki ka lang kung ang puso mo ay magkaroon ng confusion. I will invest my time to love anybody. I will invest my time to serve the Lord. We have 15 minutes before we dismiss. Let us invest this 15 minutes. How many hours you invest your life in your Facebook? How many hours you invest your life in your YouTube? How many hours you invest your life in social media? But I will just ask you 15 minutes, solid 15 minutes, Brother Judy, in praise and worship and talking to God.